back, relax and maybe get yourself a snack Me and you gonna have a little chat about books Hey guys, so I am here today after a bit of a long break to give you guys a little insight into kind of what I've been up to whilst I've been away and particularly what books I have picked up or been sent in the time that I was away because I haven't done a book haul for a while. Um, I haven't received too many, I've kind of kept it to a decent small minimum but it seems like the time of year that we're approaching is the time of year where lots of events start happening and lots of books start coming out so I anticipate that we might get more books coming in very soon. So. With that being said, let's start talking about some of the books that I received whilst I was away. I apologise if some of these are duplicates of ones I already showed you. I have had like this weird thing where a couple of books seem to be coming to my house twice at the moment um, and I'll get one and then like a month later I'll get the same book again. So if you've already seen it in a different haul, apologies, it might be that. Let's get started. So the first book I was sent is this one, Shatter Moon by Dominic Dully. I remember getting a very small um, copy of like a blurb extract for this book when Joe Fletcher decided to kind of publish it and it sounded interesting but I didn't really know much more about it. It's a sci-fi book and it's book number one in the Long Game series following Ori and her family who are the best con men in the quadrant. Apparently something goes wrong with one of the heist things that they're involved in and Ori is kind of implicated in some way and she has to go into hiding accused of a murder that she didn't commit so sounds like it's going to be sci-fi crossed with crime which is kind of a genre that I seem to be getting a little bit more into I've read a couple of them recently so I'm definitely intrigued about this one I'll let you guys know what I think of it Shadow Captain by Alistair Reynolds I read the first one in this series when it first came out Revenger I very much enjoyed it it's his YA sci-fi series it's a lot of fun um, and particularly the first one in the series I enjoyed because it's kind of like pirates in space in a way um, it's like if you like Firefly and that sort of thing I think you would like this series um, and it follows two sisters in the first book and presumably in this one as well I don't want to look at the blurb obviously because I haven't read this one yet but I will definitely let you guys know what I think when I do get to it and I do think the covers for these are very very beautiful next up I was sent this one which is an arc copy it's called Rough Magic and it's by Lara Pryor Palmer so when I got this book I actually got um, a cell sheet with it as you can see and on the sheet it says the feat of endurance across the vast Mongolian plains once traversed by the people of Genghis Khan competitors ride 25 horses across a distance of a thousand kilometers many riders don't make it to the finish line and I believe that this is kind of a little bit based in reality but sounds more like it's gonna have fantastical twists later on so I'm pretty intrigued about this. I haven't really read anything too much like it and I do think that Mongolian culture is one of those cultures that I'm very interested in and don't know that much about yet. Next up, one publisher was kind enough to send me an entire series because the third book has just come out. And that is this series, the Shattered Kingdom series, which starts off with Blood's Pride, then goes on to Fortune's Blight, and finally Strife's Bane. And these are all by Evie Manaray, I believe her name is. Um, I have not actually read any of these and I'm definitely intrigued. I've seen her books in shops before but I've never got the chance to pick them up and read them. They sound like they're going to be my kind of thing. It says generations have passed since the Norlanders great ships bore down on Shadar and the dead ones slashed and burned the city into submission and enslaving the Shadari people. Now the Norlander governor is dying and as his three children struggle against the crushing isolation of their lives in the desert the time has come for the Shadari to fight back and they have a secret weapon, the mongrel, an unbeaten mercenary warrior. But the mongrel's terms are unsettling. She will name her price only after the Norlanders have been defeated, leaving the Shadari to decide, is any price too high to pay for redemption? I think that sounds pretty good. I like the fact that the main character sounds as though she's female and some of the other characters must be too. And it's an epic fantasy series. It's one that definitely not that many people have spoken about so I'm very intrigued if you have heard of this series or tried it let me know your thoughts but hopefully I'll get to this fairly soon. Speaking of big old epic fantasies the second book in a new series has recently come out this is Legends of the Condor Heroes A Bond Undone by Jin Young. This book actually is not new in that it's newly released it's actually new to the UK because 
this is a series that is being translated and it was translated from Chinese by Gigi Chang. So originally this series was in Chinese. Um, I believe it did very well over in China and that's why they are bringing it over here now. It's being published by MacLeos and I have the first one sitting on my shelf ready to read because I actually bought it in the shops the other day and it sounds like it's going to be a really fun one. Um, I'm definitely intrigued to get to it. I think it's very much based on sort of classic Chinese epic fantasies if that makes sense. I'm not sure how much they have in common with western fantasies but I'm very very excited to kind of delve into the Chinese culture because Chinese culture is something I find fascinating and I don't know that much about it. I always find fantasy that is taking influence or set in these kind of places really really wonderful and I love the ideas of kind of honour and hierarchy throughout the books that I have read so I'm interested to see how this one has that as well and, and what the setup is and I always love a good fantasy so hopefully I will really enjoy this series again let me know if you guys have read this series because I haven't but I'm definitely keen to. And then finally I have the third book in a series which I have already read the first two of and that is the new David Hare book Hearts of Ice. This is the third one in the Sun Surge Quartet and I absolutely love David Hare's books as you guys will know if you've been following me for any amount of time. I am a big big fan of this series and in general his Moontide Quartet series which is the first quartet before these ones. So if you haven't read the Moontide Quartet I would say you can start with this series but you'll spoil the Moontide Quartet and it won't make as much sense as if you have read the Moontide Quartet. My advice would be to start with those books and the first one of those is Mage's Blood but this is the third one in the second quartet if that makes sense. Essentially it is book number seven overall so I am definitely devoted to this series. These are chunky old books and the magic in this world is very much what I love. It's epic, it's big, there's a lot of cast of characters, there's a lot of different lands that we span throughout the story. Um, the characters in this are different to the first stories but there are some crossover characters which is why I say you will spoil the first series if you start with this one. Um, and I just really, really love these books. You guys know this if you've been following me. I love them. So I'm definitely hoping that I'll love this one as much as I have the others. And yeah, if you've read these, let me know your thoughts on them. I'm definitely intrigued. So that is everything that I have been sent in the post. I've also gained a couple of things on my Kindle that I've picked up for myself um, recently, but I won't go into detail on those until I review them for you. So let me know what books you are most interested in out of the ones I've just shown you and what you've recently recently picked up when you've been to the shops or the library or wherever you get your books from. I would love to hear. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye guys! Thank you for watching my video today. Go pick up a book, then come back and chat with me again.